As you can see now, the mask is off. Our client, Delenn Maxwell, has been vilified, pilloried, and it left little room for her to be treated fairly because even before she stepped forward into this courthouse, she was being tried and convicted in the court of public opinion. Glenn will appeal this case and we are confident that she will prevail on appeal. We all know that the person who should have been sentenced today escaped accountability, avoided his victims, avoided absorbing their pain and receiving the punishment he truly deserved. I want to start by expressing my gratitude and appreciation for my sister Maria Farmer, who reported these crimes over decades ago and has so bravely continued to try and bring attention and fight for justice in this case. For all for the other women who support who spoke in the courtroom, uh, I am so grateful for the other survivors that I have met on this journey who have worked so hard to make this happen. I am incredibly grateful this would not have happened without so many voices coming together. Uh, I am so incredibly grateful for my team of attorneys, most especially Sigrid McCauley, who has gone above and beyond at every step of the way to support us and encourage us that this could happen. Sentencing, so it sent a very strong message that she was being you know, sentenced essentially for life for those crimes. And considering what her, what the dynamics are of the law that she had to deal with, I think that was entirely appropriate. And what is next? Because these two individuals, Epstein and Maxwell, did not act alone. That's correct. And as you saw in the materials that were submitted to the court, I mean, there were other co-conspirators that helped this, you know, scheme go on for many, many years. So we'll wait to see uh, if the government takes action with respect. To and you'd like to see that pursued? Of course. Of course. Of course, the women that I represent, all of them have suffered significantly and they want all of the co-conspirators held accountable. So um, it was a long time coming, but certainly today we saw the victory of justice.